What's up, everybody? O and B. And look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. Yeah, I'm looking a little bit round in the face, y'all. But I'm about to shed these pounds. It ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing for me to shed it, even at my age, bro. You know, I'm very active. I just haven't been as of lately. It been because I'm in some really deep thought here. Something about to go down. And I was hoping it go down the way it's supposed to go down. Because if it do, man, I'll be a happy dude. You know what I'm saying? I can finally do something with myself. But anyway, uh, y'all know what? I want to talk about Francis Ngannou and John Jones and what I think about Francis Ngannou's situation and why he, and part of the reason why he went that route. I think part of the reason why he went that route is because he wants to gauge what John Jones is all about. You know what I'm saying? He said he wanted a three fight deal. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted a certain amount of money. And I think the reason why is because of the danger that John Jones poses, even though he hasn't been a heavyweight. And then another thing, you got to think about this. John Jones is coming up in a heavier weight class and he going straight to the champion. Now, I know UFC have done that, but what champion in the weight division has worked that that has worked himself to that stature would agree with somebody coming in from another weight division challenging them but not working his way up you know what I'm saying but I also think it's a way for um I mean Gondel to gauge John Jones because <clears throat> who knows what John Jones got right now Nobody. Nobody knows what he got. Nobody knows what he got up his uh, up his sleeves. You know what I'm saying? So, so Rogan took the fight. It's just perfect because now Ngannou can actually see what John Jones got. You know what I'm saying? So if he beats, if John Jones beats Cyril Gan, he can say, "Okay, yeah, I see what I'm see what I'm working with." If he loses to Cyril Gan, he could be like, "Well, he wasn't worth the fight anyway." You know what I'm saying? So, I really honestly think this is his way to gauge John Jones to see what he got. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the danger that John Jones puts up, um, imposes regardless of him going up in weight. He's a he, he, he's a wrestler. He can wrestle. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think Cyril Gunn is just seeing what's happening. But then Cyril Gunn also said that um, boxer. I mean, not Cyril Gunn. Sorry, um, Francis and God. This is this is Francis and Gano's way of gauge gauging John Jones, and also think that Francis and Gano is saying, you know, uh, uh, why 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 you know um, the reason? Oh yeah, he said. Oh, um, um, Francis and Gano has said that he wanted boxing in his contract. I think that's a conflict of interest. The only reason why is because, look, in boxing, people get a lot of brain damage, B. You know what I'm saying? At least it's been a thing with boxing. And what if you go in that boxing ring and somebody pops you in that noggin, and next thing you know, something get messed up in the brain, and now all of a sudden you're forming your words. What good is that going to do to UFC if you can't fight? If you ain't if you ain't a hundred percent, or if you got some kind of brain damage going on, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's uh, that seems to be a problem to me as far as UFC doing the contract with the man with that clause in it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as boxing, but from my understanding, that the negotiations are still up, they ain't out. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't off the table or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. O and B signing out. Peace.